Hey, what's up? I'm Noriko. I'm Nayo, and we are OSS. Yay, OSS. All right. Now, today we are going to try some different beers. Now, these are non alcoholic beers or low alcoholic beers. And Noriko, why are we trying these different non alcoholic beers today? Because Nayo has been sober for one year. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I've been sober for about one year.、Um, I stopped drinking alcohol in November of 2020. So, yeah, it's been a little over a year. And for me, the hardest part about stopping alcohol or quitting alcohol wasn't so much the taste of alcohol, it was that I just loved beer. <laughs> I, loved the beer I loved the way beer tasted. I liked having beer with, like, you know, a hamburger and fries or while watching a movie or just chilling. I just love beer. So, luckily,、um, in Japan, well, I think not just Japan, maybe all over the world, there is a lot of. Uh, 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 not just in Japan, but also all over the world, there are a lot of non alcoholic beer options, and it's becoming more common. So, today we're going to look at some different beers that you can drink in Tokyo, and we'll talk about some of the other beers that I like a lot. But we don't have my favorite one here today because it is hard to find. Yes. In fact, you went to the store today, right? Yeah, sold out. Oh, sold out. Oh, my goodness, man. Yeah, it's so popular. Which is cool. I guess, you know, people in Japan are just, you know, trying to drink maybe more non alcoholic beers, too.、Mm. That one is huge. All right, now,、uh, so we're not going to do the Asahi Super Dry one today because that one's pretty popular, too. So you can see that one. So I think anyone who, like, Googles non alcoholic beer in Japan will see the Asahi Super Dry or Super Zero or Strong Zero, whatever it's called. In fact, we'll post it right here. So, we're not gonna do that one because that one's like, you know, pretty common as well. But let's start off with,、uh, let's see. We have a couple of beers here. This one is actually, this one has alcohol in it, right?、Mm. Yeah, it's 0.0, so it's actually pretty strong. We're gonna put it in the back of these other ones that you can't see just yet. But let's start off with this one. All right, now this one, Noriko actually recommended to me last year. Noriko, can you tell us about this beer? This is. This. All free lime shot. It's from Suntree.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, it tastes like lime. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah. In fact,、um, I guess if you're looking for non alcoholic drinks in Japan, all free is usually the tagline for like no alcohol in it.、Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so everything free. <laughs> But yeah, I guess、um, the closest beer I can say for Americans or people outside of Japan. But this one, it kind of tastes like a non alcoholic. Corona, Corona and Lime, I feel, yeah. yeah. All right, let's crack it open. All right, let's try. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, smells like lime.、Mm. Like, you know, smells right. Yeah, it smells of lime. You can say it smells like lime. But yeah, yeah, it's like a non alcoholic Corona, I would imagine.、Mm. I wonder if Coronas make non alcoholic beers. They probably do. But yeah, this one's good. It's good for like a, like a nice, light summer. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like outdoor, kind of.、Mm. It's like a relaxing taste, yeah. Yeah.、Um, I I like smell.、Mm. Yeah, it smells good. It has a good aroma to it. Like a、It's、nice. Important for me. Yeah? Yeah, smell.、Mm -hmm. Beer too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I like every beer、mm. smell. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.、Uh, Ever do they make non alcoholic beers or all free beers? I don't know. Yeah, I guess we have to do a part two of this video <laughs> and try to find. Next. Our next up is my favorite non alcoholic beer. This is a German beer, and I can't pronounce the name, which is weird. Like, I can speak Swedish, but I can't pronounce German to save my life. I can't even read it. Very like... Tasula. Yeah. Very Tasubroi. Oh, okay. Broy. Broy. Okay. One more time. Veritas Broy. Veritas Broy. Oh, thank God. I forgot to count that. Alex, you helped us. <laughs> yeah. You can see it right there. Where is it? Here we go. Really? One more time. Veritas Broy. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> But this, actually, let's do this one last, though, because I actually like this one the best. So I might drink this whole thing. Okay. So we're going to come back to this. This is my favorite one、He、so far. He drinks all the time. All the time. Yes. In fact, the funny thing is, if you look closely, it says no alcohol right here, like 0%, right? But in here, pure and free. But it doesn't really have the same like, branding as other non alcoholic beers. So it looks like I'm an alcoholic when we put out the trash. 
because most of the cans is just, is just this. And it looks terrible. <laughs> like, it looks like I'm always drunk. <laughs> right. Next up, let's go to the um, uh, low alcohol percent beers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Nordico, do you want do you want to introduce the first one or? Okay. Next, uh, Asahi Berry, Beery, be Berry, uh, Beery? I guess be like Berry, beer, beer, Beery. 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 Yeah. Beery. Wasai Ego desu. Beery, <laughs> Beery. Cold across. Okay. Next, uh, yeah, it's 0.5%. Which is still technically a non alcoholic beer, but if you want to worry about semantics, you could say a low alcoholic beer, but you can't get drunk drinking these, so. Looks cool. Yeah. Now, I think the beery ones, there are two flavors. You're drinking the white one first, we'll drink the dark one later. But these are like, I guess, like your fruit beers, I guess. Like they have berries and grapes and stuff. Do you know what kind of berries are in that one? Does it say? Uh -huh. Yeah, it doesn't really say. So let's go ahead and crack this open. It's first time for me. Oh, yeah. All right, let me see. Oh, yeah. It does smell good. Cheers. Cheers. Alright, here we go. Oh. I like it. Yeah. I, it's better than Rhyme Shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I really like this one a lot too. Like for me, I've been working on pairing different non alcoholic beers with foods. And I've been drinking this one a lot. Um, I drink the dark one and the light one. I had the dark one first, but I like the light one a little bit better. I the think lamb shop is more, um, oh, yeah, like citrus fruit, topa. yeah, yeah, citrusy. Yes. No smell. This one is like, um, more berry, yeah, 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 that's why it's called more beery, fruit, more yeah. fruit, like for me. All right, what would you what would you pair this with? Because like the lime shot, I think I would just drink this by myself. I mean, not by myself. I would drink this by itself. Mm. Like if we're out like at a park or somewhere like summertime mm -hmm. or like springtime, I would just drink this by itself. Maybe with like Mexican food. Yeah. Like a fish burrito or something like that. Maybe with seafood yeah, or something. Fried, fried chicken. Actually, I was thinking to do this with fried chicken. Maybe. Oh really? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, this actually, no, I think you I think you're right. This might be good with fried chicken too. Yeah. Yeah. The more, more fresh. Yeah, 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 yeah. But this one, like maybe okay, in my imagination. Okay. Maybe like this is gonna sound crazy, but like sweets, like a tart, <laughs> like mm. pie, or like 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 key lime pie or something. Mm. Or like a fruit tart. Or I am terrible. I should never pure I should never pair beer with food because this is going to be crazy. But I would want to drink this with something sweet though. But how do you feel? Like, I think when I drink this, I'm going to eat nuts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like dry fruit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. main. Yeah. Main. Yeah. Okay. Not meal. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I can see that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, I agree. I think I think you're right. Yeah, this yeah. would be the main. Yeah. And then just have like little snacks on the side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, but not like a food beer no. or something. Okay. Yeah, that's actually, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that would that actually be good. But like... What kind of nuts though? Like almonds or like cashews? I don't know. I think maybe cashews, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, I can see that. This one's good yeah. though. I like this one. Now let's go on to the next one. The dark one. Mm -hmm. dun, 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 dark side. First time, first time. Now for me, I feel like this one's pretty good, but the aftertaste is kind of strong. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Different. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's hard. I mean, yeah, it's different. Yeah, it's different. What do you think? Uh, yeah, it's good. 
more really like beer yeah this one's more of a beer one okay so now with this one would you drink this as main or would you drink it with food 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 okay definitely definitely food what kind of food are you thinking everything e everything <laughs> <laughs> like for me i'm thinking maybe like like red meat or something like maybe with a steak that's what she wants oh yeah you think so yeah uh, not too strong okay yeah let me try some more yeah 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 i think i haven't actually drank this one in a while like i usually just get a couple of the white ones but yeah i haven't had this one in a minute but yeah it's uh, pretty good and it's bitter yeah it's a little bitter yeah yeah, yeah. tastes like bitter yeah yeah mm. these are kind of like like crafty non-alcoholic beers i guess like for me they remind me of craft beers when i used to drink beers like yona yona was a good craft beer from japan that I, I don't miss drinking but that one was one of my favorite beers but they kind of remind me of like or even kind of like blue moon from america like the citrusy one blue moon yeah this one reminds me a little bit of blue moon i guess but eh? the but the berry version <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Doesn't you? Uh, so different. Okay. Oh, for me, the vibes are the same. I'm not a beer somali or anything, but I think the vibes are the same. Like with Blue Moon, when I drank Blue Moon, I was like, oh yeah, fruity taste. And when I drank this one, I'm like, oh yeah, berry taste. So for me, it's like the same vibes, just like they're cousins. I feel. It's terrible taste. I don't have terrible taste. <laughs> <laughs> what is this one that you picked out? This is. Sapporo. Mm, oh, oh, nice. Yeah, Sapporo. Sapporo san no. Eh, the drafty. The drafty. <laughs> the drafty. <laughs> Sounds so cold. <laughs> Sounds so cold. Why is it an adjective? <laughs> Why is it the, the drafty what? <laughs> the drafty what? The drafty beer? The drafty non alcoholic beer? The drafty what? <laughs> what is it? And Why the? <laughs> <laughs> like there's only one of this. Japanese likes the. Yeah, dude, Japan loves the. <laughs> like, they use the to connote greatness. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I want the hamburger. Oh, you mean the, the hamburger? <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, dude, I want the hamburger on the menu. No, it's not just the hamburger on the menu. It's the hamburger. <laughs> the drafty. <laughs> yeah. But drafty is an adjective, so it's like the drafty what? <laughs> <laughs> like the, the drafty white, like never know. <laughs> never know. Oh my goodness. Yeah, our call is zero point seven. So this would be the strongest beer that we're gonna try today. So all right, let's crack her up. Cheers. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's the drafty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't really have an opinion on it. Like, it's not good, it's not bad. It's, this is the sourest. Oh yeah? Yeah, I think. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like it though. Like, it's not a bad beer. Like it's okay. I would drink this with okay. Maybe I have terrible taste. Maybe you're right. Mm. But I would drink it with like like poultry, like chicken, like fried chicken, or like even if yeah, you had like yeah, Chinese yeah. food, like the duck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think so too. <sighs> My taste is not that terrible. <laughs> I think the problem is when you're an alcoholic. When I used to be an alcoholic. You just drink it for the to get drunk and also a little bit for the taste. So I didn't really pair it too much. I always told myself I was pairing it with food, but I was just trying to get drunk. But now that I'm not drinking to get drunk anymore, now I'm trying to relearn how to pair it with food. So, yeah. Do you feel alcohol? Not at all. <laughs> not at all? Not at all. Okay. What about you? No. <laughs> not at all. It's like, but the funny thing is, so I've, I've been talking to some of my other sober friends, and it's not just in Japan, but I think around the world, a lot of people who don't drink alcohol anymore, we kind of still want there to be like dry bars or like sober bars. So like in English, like in native English, when you say you don't drink or something that doesn't have alcohol in it, like it's like, it's, we call it dry. Mm. So like, you know, coffee shops, I like coffee shops. They're cool. Cafes are cool. 
but it's not the same vibe as like going like you know like an after work drink party or something like that mm -hmm. like sometimes you know right now it's corona and like covid and all that so we don't really have that but you know when the world finds its new normal i feel like a lot of people who stop drinking or people who want to cut back on drinking mm -hmm. would still want to go out and be social maybe and i feel like it would be good to have a place we can go where they only have predominantly well Rewind. It would be good to find a place to go where they have predominantly non-alcoholic beers or non-alcoholic wines. Not a juice bar, not a coffee shop, but like a, a dry bar. I feel like that would be pretty cool. Because that would be cool to go somewhere and you could choose between buying this or you could choose between buying this or you could choose between, you know, it's not alcoholic whatever. That would be tight. Because I would probably choose the next one, the last one, which is my favorite one. No, yeah. Now, um, last year, we started going to Caldi for yeah. non-alcoholic drinks. And there was a Vietnamese beer, whose name I can't pronounce, that was really good there as well. But sometimes they wouldn't have the Vietnamese beer, but they would have this beer. So I would buy, you know, one or the other. Sometimes I'd buy them both. But gradually, this one became my favorite by a little bit. Because the, Vietnam, the, uh, the Vietnamese beer, you can't buy all that often. Mm -hmm. But they always have this one. Mm -hmm. So this one's become my favorite because of availability. But let's crack her open. And this one is a Pilsner. So I love Pilsners. Even when I was drinking heavily, I like Pilsners because they're kind of light and crisp. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Hey. Yeah. I think this is the strongest. The strongest one? Yeah. Smells yeah. and taste. Yeah, yeah. It's because it's coming from a different market. Because I think this is actually from yeah from the from Japan. No, not, not from Japan. It's actually from Deutschland or Germany. And I think the market might be a little bit different too. So you know, for people who don't want to drink alcohol in Germany, but who still grew up drinking beers, or, that's a stereotype. But <laughs> for people, you know, but maybe the the tastes are different for people who want to drink non-alcoholic beers in Germany. So because it's the only foreign beer we have today. But yeah. But what do you think? What else? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's not. She didn't mean it. She it's didn't, not didn't best for she me. Did, she didn't mean it. Sorry. Don't. Her opinion. Germany. Her opinion doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> she can drink regular alcohol. I can't. <laughs> so you're the best. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this this one and the Kirin Zirichi are my favorite ones. So yeah, these are like God tier, oh, in my mm. opinion. But yeah, all right, well. <laughs> Which one is best? So before we started, I knew this one was my favorite. So I'm gonna put this one aside because this one's my favorite, right? But my second next favorite okay. from these. Are they even the If you. Yeah. If I put this one in, if I, yeah. so if I add it too, yeah. this is still my favorite one. Oh, okay. So this one, that's not fair. I have a bias. Okay. So this one's my favorite one, but I'm going to put her aside. Okay. <laughs> and from here, the ones that I left over, my favorite one is probably this one. Yeah. Favorite? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I like this one a lot. This one's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And it's a little malty because it's kind of a craft beer, so it still makes you feel a little full like a regular beer does. I feel. All right, I'm gonna put this one back in, but I know you're not gonna like it. But which one is your favorite from here, Nordico? My favorite one mm -hmm. is this. Yay! Yeah, this is really good. Yeah. I like the smell. Yeah. Yeah, and it's really dicey, important. Yeah, I think that's why we're married, because we have similar <laughs> taste. <laughs> Yay! We passed the couple's <laughs> challenge quiz. <laughs> It was a test. <laughs> All right. Well, if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah. All right. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.